Hey everybody, Dale Strohshine. Guess what? Spring is fast approaching. Now I know we've got some snow out there, but the rivers are starting to run. And guess what? This is without a doubt the best time of the year to get after some of the biggest fish that swim, and especially for us guys that love and gals that love chasing walleyes. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give you some tips on what you can do when you just pull the boat out of the garage like I did that can save you some headache down at the boat landing. You know, I always do these Mercury Minutes and I figured what better time to launch a Mercury Minute than right now for Open Water 2020. Okay, so to get started, what we're gonna do is, I've got some tools inside the truck and I'm gonna go through how you're gonna use these tools to actually help you before you get started to go out on the water this year. So number one is a battery charger. We're gonna go through that. I've got a pressure gauge right here, a little screwdriver and uh, some other tools. And so I'm gonna explain everything to you, what you wanna look at before you actually start rolling down the road. Now, number one is gonna be checking air pressure tires. As you store your boat over the winter, many of times it's sitting on the concrete or on cold gravel, whatever it's going to be. This is where you're gonna lose air pressure. When you lose air pressure in the tires, once you get rolling and you build up that heat, it's not a good thing. You can actually have a blowout and it can create a lot of damage. So this is a very easy over, this is something very simple to fix so you don't have any problems with a blowout or have any damage to your trailer with a flat tire. So what I'm gonna do is find out how much air pressure is situated inside this tire right here, what it requires. So I'm looking at it right here and it's uh, 50 PSI. So I'm gonna go around and check each one of the tires on, on the trailer. And then most importantly though, is to make sure that you check your air pressure as well in your spare tire. So simply all you're gonna do is remove the air cap right here, which I'm doing. And now I'm just gonna take my pressure gauge Okay, so we're right, yeah, we're right at 50, 50 pounds right there. So that's right where they need to be. You wanna make sure that you've got good air pressure. Now, another thing that you're gonna to wanna to check very quickly is just inspect the rim. Make sure there's no grease, no oil. So this is what my little screwdriver here is for. I'm gonna actually pop this cap off and I'm just making sure my seals aren't leaking here. I'm gonna take a little look real quick here in the back as well. So just to make sure, because you don't want any problems with that. And a, and a quick look like this can tell if you've got a leaky seal or not. So those are some things that you're gonna wanna do. Now, everything looks real good. And again, this is where I'm gonna wanna inspect each one of the hubs on the axle. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check my gear case on my big engine. So what I'm looking for, if by chance you had a leaky seal last fall before you put the boat away and it got below freezing, this could cause some damage. So if you see any grease or oil coming out of the gear case, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get to an authorized service Mercury Center right away to have that looked at. So I'm gonna get up, just gonna go back here real quickly. I'm gonna inspect the gear case. Because like I said, if you get water in here, a lot of times you get monofilament wrapped around the prop shaft. And that's simply what can cause a lot of damage because what it's gonna do is take out the seal and then water can get inside here. So if water gets inside your gear case over the winter and it freezes, you can crack this. And that's when you're gonna start seeing oil or grease or something coming out of the gear case. So I'm looking at this right now. Everything looks real good with that. So once you've got those steps taken care of, then the next thing we're gonna do is get inside and we're gonna check our battery connections and make sure that those are all good and tight so we have no problems with electronics, bilge pumps, accessories, whatever it's going to be starting. So we're gonna jump in the boat and we're gonna check that out right now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we checked our air pressures, we made sure our axle seals are all real good, we went back and looked at the gear case. So now we wanna make sure all of our connections are not only tight, but they're corrosion free because corrosion can create uh, a problem with grounding. And this is where you're gonna run into problems with electronics or pumps or starting or whatever it might be. So all I'm gonna do is I grab the 9 16 inch wrench here and 
what I would do is I'm going to go around and I would check each one of my connections. So I'm going to look at this, make sure that there's no corrosion on it. And then I'm just going to take the wrench and just simply make sure that each one of these connections are good and tight. So they're making the positive is making a good connection. And then looking at the ground here as well, I'd get on the ground and make sure that those grounds are good and tight, which that one is as well. So you would go around and check each one of these batteries. So I've got three here for my bow mount, and then I've got the two in the back for all of my accessories along with my starting batteries. And I would wanna make sure that each one of these, again, are very clean, they're corrosion free, and make sure they're tight. Now, if you've kept your batteries in a garage where they've gotten cold all winter long, typically what's gonna happen is they're gonna be completely dead. And when you plug in your onboard charging systems, it will not be able to recognize what it needs to do because the batteries are completely dead. So what you're gonna need to do is take a simple battery charger like this, plug it in, put it onto each one of the batteries and make sure that you put some life in the batteries. Just turn it on for maybe an hour and then charge up each one of those batteries and then come back and you can plug in your onboard charging system and it's gonna do what it should. So these are your tips for you so you can have a great 2020 open water season. I'm Dale Strohshine, that's your Mercury Minute. And from all of us at Mercury Marine, we wish you a safe and wonderful fishing season.